Hey yo, what's up guys? Today we'll be doing a little bit of shopping, fishing shopping in a way, but not a fishing store. I'm gonna be at AC Moore. See that? Basically, if you guys are not from the East Coast area, it's a uh, arts and crafts store. And uh, as a do-it-yourself type guy who likes to do, you know, make your own lures and stuff like that, there are gonna be some materials here for sale. So, um, geez, the airplane's flying over right now. But uh, I'm gonna go in there and find some stuff for you guys. All right, guys, everything in the store, 25 to 50% off, but you guys probably be like, what the heck? What happened to the live sounds? Well, guys, I had to disable the live sound because they're actually jamming some Christmas music right now. So uh, yeah, voiceover and my own music, let's go. Now guys, I did this video in the middle of, I'd say December. So uh, right now the percentage are probably a lot higher. So uh, make sure you guys check it out. Check out everything before everything gets sold out. All right, so the first section, guys, we're gonna try the floral section. Let's see what we got. All right, look at this. We got a lot of these cool little gem rock stuff. Guys, we got some corks here. We could probably do some cork poppers or some floats. 699 is a little bit expensive. Let's see if there's some more corks. I know there's different shaped corks somewhere else in this store. And of course, we got some more rocks here. Hey, what's up, pineapple? And we got some grapes. All right, so we got some styrofoams here. These are like some of those uh, planetarium type styrofoams. They're kind of hard. I guess you could use it for floats, but uh, I don't think I'll be using it for anything. Got some wires here. I know fly anglers like to use some wires to coil up their, their lures and stuff, probably for some weight or for just, just colors. All right, so I found the floral stems. So floral stems, basically they use these to make flowers, but you could make certain lures like probably Tokyo rigs, but probably on the lighter end side, you, you guys definitely don't want to use these for heavy duty. Tokyo rigging. There's different types of stems. Make sure you guys get the stem without the paper wraps. Just get them plain metallic or maybe, you know, painted green. All right, so there's a ton of yarns. A lot of people like to use yarns for many things like chenille bodies or fly fishermen be using it for other things. Heck, I make some crazy lures with it, but haven't used it yet. All right, of course, when the yarn, there's also thread stuff. Threads are great, especially if you're tying stuff on hooks. Got many different colors, different diameters, different materials. You guys can pick the ones you guys want to use. Stitchery floss. This is something different. It's like yarn, but very, very thin. I think it'll work with these. You guys have any ideas? Leave in a comment below. I think I'm gonna get some fluorescent ones. What do you guys think? But man, some of these are sparkly. I see one that's already bundled up together. Got some bright colors here. I think I might get this. Hmm. Leave some ideas below if you guys have any ideas for me. All right, guys, there's some painting stuff here, some paintbrush some paints so if you guys need to get some paints check them out now there's some acrylic stuff here I guess you guys could use that for some lures but definitely not oil paint you can't use oil paint for fishing lures right you know what's better than paint sharpies 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 25% off tons and tons of colors look at this holy smokes man 37.99 that's, that's too much I probably just get two colors if I ever need anything I probably just get black and something super bright, like a chartreuse color. Let's let's find a good chartreuse color here. Here we go. This green one right here looks pretty darn good. But there's actually one right here. It says neon on it. Now I already marked this up on the wall up here. You guys can take a look at it. The non-neon one is the right, the neon one is to the left. Alright, so I'm walking through the wood section. I see some of these round balls, wooden balls. You can make some floats with it. Some of them already have some like partially drilled holes in it. But uh, yeah, I probably could make some weights with it. I know there's a lot of folks who use it in salt water where they can cast like a very lightweight fly out very far with uh, these wooden floats and catch a lot of fish. Oh wait, look at this. Here we go. Cheaper cork. Cheaper than the cork we saw floral section here. $3.99 with 25% off. Definitely could do like a cork popper fishing challenge or you know, just making some floats. All right guys, the next section here, got some stencils. I don't know if you guys uh, use stencils for anything, but stencils are great if you guys are kayak anglers. Look, cut your own stencils. You guys can make custom stencils, or you guys can get some of these pre-cut stencils, and then you guys could actually use Plasti Dip and spray onto your kayak. Not a cow though, you don't want to use a cow. But uh, yeah, you guys could do your logo. You guys get like a utility knife set, draw out your logos on that thing, and there you go. All right, super glue. Man, the glue section, they are selling out very quick because it's 25% off. 
Alright, so more craft section here. Feathers. Oh my gosh. Feather galore, but not every feather here is actually good quality. As you can see, it's uh, pretty crap here. Very low quality feathers here. Let's take a look at some of these bags. This one looks okay. The red look okay, but I think the red color might run, like the dye might run. Oh, the green one is pretty bad. Let's see, some of these mixed batch semi-natural colors, some of them look good. See this one right here? That's really, really bad. Nope, low quality. You don't want anything to do with that. Hmm, those those look okay. Oh, look at that. Chenille stems. I know back in the day, a lot of people use these type of stuff to make jig bodies, but uh, it's actually a metal wire in the middle, and uh, some of you guys may have purchased like very, very cheap jig heads with these type of bodies, and they, they, actually, they actually rust. Alright guys, paracords. You guys haven't seen my paracord fishing challenge? I have done it. I've caught fish using paracords. Tons of different colors. Look at the pink, sexy pink one there. Let's see what other good colors around. Not much colors in this particular um, store, but uh, Leo would love that color. But I'll probably get like, some greens and stuff like that. Maybe orange. Orange is my color. Got some beads if you guys want to make some inline spinners. Oh, look at that. Some small little cords. You guys probably make like mm, some some fly fishing lures, you know, plastic. Ah, look at this. Laces. Laces are pretty cool. I probably could make some lures and catch some fish. In fact, I made something before, never used it yet. You guys take a little overlay here. If you guys want to see me fish with it, let me know. Rubber bands. I've also made some lures using rubber bands. Some rubber band fishing challenge. Man, these are some crazy stuff. I could probably make some good stuff with it too. Very cheap too. Wiggly googly eyes. I don't recommend using these for fishing lures. It doesn't really add any attraction. Got some bells here. Some cheap bells. You guys could probably make like a strike indicator if you guys are into making those. storage section. This is pretty interesting. I found it in the jewelry section. You can see that uh, some of these are okay price. It's $5 for that. I guess fly fishing folks would like to use something like that. But let's take a look at this. $14.99. I mean, this has a lot of uh, sections here, but for a box this size, that's too expensive. Same thing here. But now, let's go down to the smaller one. And then you don't want to look at that one right there. It's for jewelry stuff. But anyway, guys, $4.99 for this storage box right here. Definitely, definitely good for craft folks like me. And beads, sequins, and rhinestones. I bought some of these before. I use it for inline spinners and stuff like that. Pretty cool. And then you got some necklace here. Just basically beads as well. I don't know if people actually use these for fishing lord challenges, but I think people should. Foam pads. Fly fishing folks will love to come here and buy all these stuff out right here. They make really, really cool lures using foams. Maybe I should make a foam lure too. What do you guys think, eh? Look at this. Plenty of foam stuff here in different weird shapes. I think what I'll do is I'll buy these foam pads instead. These foam sheets are a lot better. But it costs a little bit more. Probably can't use this glitter one though. Deco rope. Oh man, saltwater fly anglers would love these, but I can't find a pearl one. They only have one color here. I remember coming here in the past and they have like many different colors like greens and stuff like that. And there's more markers, a different brand if you guys want to go for a cheaper one. Many different colors, stick with the bright ones. Alright, got some vinyl stuff here, some shiny ones. There's regular colors, but the shiny ones are what caught my eye. Some of them already have adhesive on it, and some sticky stuff. Some of them you just gotta glue on by yourself. I guess uh, folks who like to use spoons to cut their own pattern and glue it onto the spoons. I know my buddy Zach from Round Valley, he would probably do something like that. And uh, if you guys like to cut certain things, you guys need some blades, make sure you get your blades. They're selling out pretty quick. And stickers, holy smokes. Look at that, gone fishing. If you guys like scrapbooks, grab your stickers while you can. I'm in the sticker section, I'm looking at these stuff right here, these rhinestones. 
I don't think anyone have really bedazzled their lure yet, but I probably could, you know, stick it all on jerkbait or something and make it very, very shiny and <laughs> see what we catch. What do you guys say, eh? But damn, there's so much stickers here. I feel like Randy walking through Walmart and trying to buy some stickers. They're on sale, guys. So, what do you guys think? Any of these are good fishing lure ideas? Do you guys have any recommendations on craft materials one could get from a store like this to make some good fishing lures? Leave it in the comments below. Stay tuned for this season as I'll be creating some crazy lures during this winter and I'll be fishing them during the spring, summer, and fall. Thank you for watching. Peace out.